There are not too many uh, 14500 right angle um, angular lights that I know of. This HD10 is pretty much the right angle version of the popular TS10 from Morcos. I did review this uh, interesting bigger rotatable HD11 in the first part. Now let's check out this uh, anticipated light. Uh, welcome back to UDC channel, this is Jay. I only have one uh, 14500 right angle headlight, but this is not running um, Endurel. I have a few more, but uh, mostly 18350s. And um, this one I put a long tube. Let's see the size comparison. Anyways, back to this. This came in a regular Wukos packaging. And being a headlight, it came with a headband, which I never use. And your an USB Type A to Type C cable. Now let's see the light itself. Just like the HD11, it has a matte anod anodization, which uh, sort of adds a grippy feeling to it. From the top, it has a similar looking button with spiral design. It does have this um, charging indicator, which does not double as a battery indicator, which is a smart move, since it's using Android and there are already other options for the, that purpose. It's also using the same curved tube design as in the TS10, but I'm not really a big fan of the overall design of this light. But design is always uh, subjective. Some people might uh, love this design. I like the TS10 though. It has a built-in USB Type-C port on the light itself. But um, just like most triple 14500 Enduria lights, it can't take regular AA batteries. So I'm quite thick. So far I'm only aware of one that can take regular AA batteries. There are two color options, at least for uh, the moment. This regular plain black and uh, orange. Unfortunately, there's no premium metal options for it yet. And just like the HD11, the clip is not uh, by any means a deep carry one. It's uh, more for hands-free use. Plus, there's also a magnet in the tail for more uh, hands-free options. I won't go over the UI since I think everyone is already quite familiar with uh, Android versions by now. There's a flashing pad available now for those of you who like to keep up to date with uh, their firmwares. Now let's see the beam pattern and tint. I like how um, low the moonlight is and the warm 4000K tint. It has a 29 degree beam angle from the usual triple um, TRL lens. It's surprisingly quite throwy. Rated up to 130 meters of throw. You can clearly see the hotspot, but it has a smooth transition to spill. 
We'll see more in the other beam shots later. And uh, misrated at uh, 95 CRI for this CSP 4000K variant. There's also a 6000K um, 90 CRI options as well. Fortunately, it has a true RGB auxiliary, like in the TS10 Titanium. And we, we didn't have to pick a specific color like the earlier version of a TS10. Or even worse, uh, dancing ox in the TSN Copper first um, edition. I think that's all I have to say for this. I knew this was going to be a short one. Let's just take it outside for a quick beam shot. Okay, let's see. I put it in step mode. One, two, three. I think there's one more level. Okay. Okay. There we go. And let's try to take a walk. Okay, for the price, this is a steal, especially if you're looking for a versatile, lightweight headlight with uh, lots of features, aka Endurail. Okay, that's it for now. As always, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye now.